What's up guys? Welcome back. Alright, so we're going to be doing something similar to problem 5 from the fundamentals of chapter 2. And it's going to be very similar to the uh, same method that we used in maybe problem 4, where we changed the basis and we used a UV system instead of an XY system. Alright, so here they're telling you that your, your F is to have a component along the u-axis so we know we know that this the components of this force f needs to have a component along this direction right so we said that any in 2d one any vector can be decomposed into two directions um, so in this case it's going to have an f u direction and potentially an FV direction, right? So in this case, we're not we're not in static equilibrium because we're going to be doing, you know, vector FU plus vector FV equals F. Okay. All right. Let me just draw the vectors, not scalars. Okay. So here we're going to have our. They're telling us that FU has a magnitude of six kilonewtons. F, we don't know, but we know that FU plus FV, so a component parallel to V, will give me a resultant F. Okay, so I know that. Um, I guess we're going to draw it this way, like this. We're going to say F, FU. And let me draw the let me draw this in the coordinate system. This is my U. my v and this is my force vector f and we're looking for that okay all right so we did f u because we're given that now we know that the f v force here when we do f u plus f v right it has to be parallel to the v axis okay so we know that it has to end here so it's going to be fu plus fv equals the resultant f right so we know it's going to be something like this so let's just draw this vector bigger all right that's why i like to just draw as many auxiliary, auxiliary lines so we can visualize it better if you just draw some sloppy thing on your paper your mind is going to beat you and you're going to be like what's going on this can't be happening even though you're probably theoretically doing it all correct. Okay, so FU plus FV. So this is FV. This is FU, and that's given. Six kilonewtons, right? And then we know that this is 45 degrees. And then my force F with the V axis, okay? makes 105 degrees okay and we know that my force f here right so actually let's draw this is 105 right so then that means that this in here needs to be 105 okay and that gives us that um i believe 30 degrees right for the other side too yeah so this would be 30 degrees so now we have our force triangle here. So Fu plus Fv equals resultant F. Okay. And now um, let's find out what Fv is and the magnitude of F is. Okay. So let's just apply a sign law once again. So we know a side 6 Fu. Uh, sine of the angle that's opposite to that side, which is 105, equals, uh, let's just figure out what, let's just do FV just for, just for the hell of it. So FV and the, the angle, the sine of the angle opposite to FV, which is 45. Okay, now we're going to do the same thing for F equals sine. F is here, so sine 30. So now FV 
is um, 10.45 divided by 7.5 if he is 4.39 kilonewtons roughly 4.4 and then F F will be 6 divided by 7.5 times 7.30 and F will be 3.10 no, 3.11 Or roughly 3.1. Okay. And there you have it. So notice how here our force triangle didn't loop back around because we didn't do. Um, if you're done with this problem, you can move on. But if you're still pondering some things, our force triangle here was Fu plus Fv. And then we found the resultant going from the beginning to the end. That was F. Okay. If I were to tell you that all these forces were being applied to this hook and they added up to zero, right? Then your force triangle look very, very similar. It would be Fu plus Fv, so Fu plus Fv. But because it's uh, because it's in static equilibrium, it will be Fu plus Fv plus F equals zero. So I start here and I end here. No resultant, which means all your force is added to zero. Okay? Alright guys, thanks for your time. I really hope this helps start solidifying all these concepts and, uh, and just, just draw it out, auxiliary lines, and go slow. Thanks guys.